Hey everybody, this is Max Olson with an Adjuster TV special weather update. After a long break from severe weather, we have had a large outbreak last night. Over 300 reports of severe weather, 37 of those were tornadoes. Now, as you guys can see, I'm in a hotel room, and no, I'm not on a catastrophic deployment. I'm actually stranded here. We'll get to why in a minute. But let's talk about the most prolific tornado from this event, which started near Jonesboro, Arkansas. The storm had been going on for about an hour or two before it started producing tornadoes, and it was pretty clearly evident that this was going to be a problem early on. I ended up going chasing and picked this as my target storm. I had to meet it in the Missouri boot heel, and by the time I got there, it was producing a large, violent tornado. Um, it has not been rated yet, but it will likely be in the EF3 to EF4 category, almost certainly. Uh, this tornado crossed Interstate 55, right just to the north of me, and then moved on into Tennessee and then Kentucky, where it continued to do additional damages. Multiple communities completely wiped out. This is going to be one of the most prolific tornadoes of the last decade, potentially traveling over 200 miles. There is um, some discrepancy. There might have been two separate tornadoes, but I mean, it was one right after another type thing. So regardless, a very, very impressive, prolific severe weather event and a very, very damaging, destructive, and unfortunately will likely be a historic tornado. Now, how did I get stranded? Well, after the tornado crossed, I ran over some debris, which damaged my wheels, tires, and exhaust. So my car got loaded up onto a tow truck this morning and is at a shop here in Blytheville, Arkansas. I'm stuck here for the foreseeable future, but I have a roof over my head and not a lot of people can say the same thing, uh, you know, in the areas that were damaged by tornadoes. So very thankful to be okay. If you have anybody that was um, in the area that was affected, our deepest condolences go out to you and there will likely be a need for some adjusters in that area. The next week or so looks pretty calm as far as severe weather goes, but we might see uh, we might be seeing a pattern shift start to happen, which might lead to a bit more active, relatively speaking, it is winter, but a potentially a bit more active of a period later on in the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. This has been an Adjuster TV special weather update.